Hello and welcome to SourceCAD Tutorials again. In this tutorial, I will tell you how you can make a simple tire using AutoCAD. I am using AutoCAD 2015 for this tutorial, but you can use the previous releases of AutoCAD as well. So let's start this tutorial with a ellipse and I will use axis and ellipse for this. So go to ellipse, select axis and ellipse and make a random ellipse. Uh, you don't need to be specific while making this ellipse. So make an ellipse which is similar to what I have drawn on its screen right now. Now go to line command and make a line which does not pass through the center and which is something like this. Now let's go to trim and trim this extra portion of ellipse and now we'll remove this line as well. Okay, so now we need to manip manipulate this ellipse. So go to spline and add a spline uh, starting from this corner point. So take a look at the geometry which I am making right now and try to make your geometry similar to this one okay so here we have this is spline now let's go and add a central axis so go to line again click on this center point and make a straight line which is vertical now select all these geometries and hit J and enter on command line now select this you will see that this has been converted into a spline now select it again and we'll remove this sharp corner. Select it, go to this corner but don't click and select remove vertex. Now you can see that the sharp corner has been removed from our spline. So here we have a continuous spline. Now let's go and manipulate it a little. So we'll just manipulate it to make this shape similar to the profile of a tire. And here we have this uh, manipulated profile. Okay, I think it seems okay to me. Okay, let's I'll leave it here. Uh, now we need to trim the remaining portion, the portion which is on the right. So select trim again and press enter and trim this part. And now let's make a mirror copy of the portion which is left on screen. So select this and make a mirror portion and mirror it about this vertical axis. And select both these geometries, click on join and join. So here we have a single continuous spline. Now let's go to offset and make an offset. So click on through and then click on this spline and drag it inwards. So here we have the offset profile of this spline. Now let's close this geometry and make it a completely closed one. So select line and click on these two endpoints to join it. Now go to line again and click on the remaining two endpoints. So here we have this completely closed geometry. Now remove this vertical line and let's go and select all of it and we'll make it a completely closed object. So select all and click on J and press enter on command line and now you can see that this is a completely closed geometry. So this is how you will make the outline for our tire. Now we need to add other details but before that I recommend you to save it because it might crash sometimes your drawing so you would like to save it. So now uh, let's go and add final details. So I'll select arc and make an arc. So you might need to turn off and on uh, this O snap marker again and again uh, because uh, when it is on it will snap to random points. So to avoid it you just turn it off. So here we have our arc, three point arc and make sure this arc lies inside this spline. It's completely inside this spline as you can see. And now go to arc again and now we need to turn it on and track this point and make one more arc. So start from this point and make one more arc which is similar to this okay so here we have another arc now we'll join both these endpoints using a line so go to line and select this point and uh, we don't need to join it from that point so make a random point oh it snaps to that point that's why I said that you need to turn off or snap so turn it off and now make a line okay like this so now go to line tool again and uh, or turn it on, click on this point, turn it off and now make again a line. Okay, so here we have our geometry. Now let's go and trim all the remaining portions which we don't require. So select a trim and remaining portions. We need to just trim it off. Yeah, chop them off. Now completely select this geometry, click J and enter. So here we have a completely closed profile. Now let's go and add a few details to this. So we'll make an axis, the horizontal axis, about which we'll rotate this geometry. And 
now let's go and make layers so we need to add some layers and you'll soon know why I'm adding these layers so go on and add the layers as, I, as I've added and place this spline on layer 1 I've changed the color of layer 1 to yellow and turn this layer off as well so now here we have only this geometry on screen now let's go and convert it into 3d using revolve command so select this geometry press enter and now select our axis so select these two points on axis and press enter again so here we have our 3d revolved geometry and uh, you might need to change the visual style so go to visual style and change it to shaded or hidden whichever you like I've changed it to hidden and uh, let's go to home view and yes you can see the geometry we might need to change it to parallel to make it more clear and now let's go to origin and move the origin point of this axis upwards make sure it tracks in Z direction upwards and click and uh, let's turn this grid off as well go to top view on our view cube and now we'll make the threads of the style to make these threads I'll go to arc tool again and I'll turn O snap off and now make a profile which is similar to what I'm making right now on screen so you can make another type of threads as well but uh, for this sake of uh, tutorial I'll make a thread similar to this now again I'm making an offset of this arc and here I have this geometry now let's go and join it so turn O snap on and make a straight vertical line and let's go to line again and join it like this okay and let's trim all the remaining portions so we don't need these two portions and we'll delete this one so select it and delete it okay now let's go to line again zoom it and make a line like this and again we need to trim this extra portion so select trim press enter and yes trim this remaining portion from here so now let's go select all of these and press J and enter so so as to just join it join it and make it a completely completely closed object now select it and go to mirror and make a mirror image from this center and press enter so here we have a mirror image of our original geometry now click on save once again if you want and now let's go to 3d view and go to extrude and select both the profiles press enter and extrude it so as to pass it from the tire profile which we have made now go to polar array and select both these profile go to axis of rotation and select any two points on the axis and here I'll enter 28 number of objects and close this array so here we have this array now select subtract tool and now make sure that you select this tire and press enter and now select all these arrayed objects which we have made so select as many objects as you can in a single run and uh, yeah this seems good to me and press enter now let's repeat this process again so go to subtract select this profile press enter and now select the remaining fins or the remaining profiles which we have made and press enter again so here we have and yes we have made this profile now let's go and add some final details to this to add the final details I'll go to top view again and uh, on top view I'll add a rectangle in the middle of it so go to rectangle and uh, let's add a rectangle so start your rectangle from there and make sure it passes completely from this circle uh, like the one I'm showing on screen and here we have this rectangle now again we need to extrude this rectangle so go to this uh, home view extrude this uh, rectangle and drag it completely so that it passes through this tire completely now select subtracts so click on this tire then rectangle and here we have this geometry I'm saving it again now let's go and make a free orbit and let's see whether we have made it completely or not yes I think it's complete and now let's go and add our layers so let's bring our layers back and uh, okay okay so now <coughs> let's go to layers and here we have this 
layer 2 let's turn it off and let's bring it on so I have turned uh, the first layer on and I've turned off the layer and now we'll make manipulations on this geometry so now select this profile and again select this central axis and in the similar way I am revolving this so revolve it in the similar way and here I have this geometry revolved geometry of tire so now this is a simple tire and previously we have made the threads so now we need both simultaneously so now go to the layers and turn both layers on so now here we have tires as well as thread I'll change this color to make it apparent and here you can see that we have threads and our tire as well so this is how you're gonna make it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want more from source card so don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching